Spring, that's what's up. That's what's up. Hey there, Beer Tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight, we're going to take a look at Three More Springs Pilsner. Traditional Pilsner, I believe. 5.3% ABV. 473 milliliters. All Ch natural. Ooh, Pilsner was first made back in 1942 by the Bohemians. 1942. They use special pale malt and a whole bunch of hops to create a delicious, refreshing golden beer. Up here in Creamore, we fire brew our Pilsner the same traditional way, using only four natural ingredients. Starting with our own clear flowing spring water, it's our fresh take on traditional Czech Pilsner. Now, I want to see if this is any comparison to my favorite Czech Pilsner, which would be Pilsner Urkel. I don't know if it's yours, but... No. Yeah. Anyway, I know what my favorite Pilsners are. I, I tend to have a... a I, I'm not really much of a lager fan, but I tend to lean towards Pilsners as my favorite type of lager style. Um, I, the first Pilsner Urkel I ever had was preposterously skunky. It had gone <laughs> totally south, and it soured me on it for years. And I finally eventually got one that wasn't in one of those damn green bottles. It was in a can, and it was okay. But, um, well, that's what we get here now. But, uh, yeah, not my, still, still not my favorite Pilsner. Um, probably one of the Halifax Pilsners is probably my favorite. Either, oh. either, either the Garrison or the Propeller. They're both... Not really the Propeller. I don't think I've ever had the Garrison. Well, it's a seasonal. Yeah, I think it's that's the one that's out now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I never had that one. I like them both quite a bit. And uh, that probably makes me some sort of heretic, but I don't care. That's yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I tend to have a, a, a liking for the, the Czech Pilsner. Like, uh, there was another one I had. Czech Bar wasn't that bad. Either. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. Anyway, so, Pilsner. Um, this one, Creamore Springs, Ontario. Creamore Springs with me so far. And High School Mighty. Has an excellent track record. He's tried three of them. I've tried two of them. They have four in total. This is going to be your last one, right? Yep. This is. I I'm finishing the I haven't had the logger yet. Um, they've all been amazing as far as I'm concerned. This. Um, they do some fantastic. The Erbach and the uh, the Keller beer was great. Um, I really thoroughly enjoyed this one. The, you, those you, ones. you need to get into the uh, the, the premium logger at some point because it's. Yeah, you you sent it to me. I just haven't had a chance to crack it open yet, and I got phone. You got foam. Mm. Not too much. Just a little. Anyway, Fuzz sent me this. My friend Fuzz. Yeah. Our friend Fuzz, rather. He's my friend, too. Yeah, he's been friends with both of us for, since, like, elementary school. we were, like, what, like, nine? Elementary <laughs> school. <laughs> like, what, nine, ten? See, it's, good he, it's a good thing he travels a lot. Because <laughs> he brings back all kinds of interesting beer from, like, Nova Scotia or Ontario or Quebec. Like that McCoy's. God bless the traveling Fuzz. Yeah, I just wish he had better ch better taste and or skill with picking up the good stuff. Did a good job with this one. Yeah, though. he did a great job with this one. I won't knock it too much. And you know what? I'm, I'm appreciative for anything I get, really. This is a nice pale it's straw um, color. Lots a of nice carbonation. straw golden color. That looks pretty nice for a Pilsner. Got a nice a poofy, bit hazy. poofy, sticky head. A little, a little tiny bit nice, hazy. Nice carbonation, nice uh, streaming carbonation coming up the sides. And a little bit of... Actually, it looks like it's sticking in the sides quite well. You know what? That really looks nice for a Pilsner. This is a nice looking pills. It's a nice looking pills. Let's give it a take a sniff. It's got that Pilsner smell. Yep. It's got that, the that herbal, earthy, not so much earthy, but more like this, this like herbal metallic. Mmm. Slightly. You can tell it's a well hopped pills. Yeah. Um, that definitely smells, it smells a lot like a fresh pills, uh, Pilsner Urkel. It's got this almost like free kind of, oh, what is that smell? It's almost citrus. A little bit, a little bit. It's, it's, it, maybe a touch of that banana that pills is sometimes come up with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a little bit of sweetness in the back there. Like a Pilsner's typically use like a Pilsner malt, which is similar to caramel malt. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that smells, that definitely smells like uh, they use Saw's hops in it, like their typical uh, Bohemian hop. Well, that would make sense. That really smells good. Wow. It's, it's quite nice. That's a remarkable copy. Well, it all boils down to the taste, and if they use the same Primor Springs spring water that I'm used to in these things, it's going to be amazing. Oh, well, let's give it a try. Yep. Yep. And, and yeah, the smoothness oh. continues. That is beautiful. That goes down easy. It like disappears in foam almost. It's like poof. Very refreshing too. Yeah. And a nice 
a nice hoppy uh, uh, dryness in the back, a little, little mildly sweet. Yep. Very light, he's, lightly sweet. He's very light. Oh, geez, that's good. But like in a good kind of light, you know, not like that light, light. I would have no problem at all finishing several cans of this. This is just delicious. It's so easy to drink. You could session the hell out of this thing. You could session the fuck out of this. Well, I beat around the bush with the language. That's really nice, and that's really light. Refreshing, dry. Wow, that's got it all. Well, you're in luck, Nova Scotia. Available in NSLCs mm. near you. I'm really enjoying this. It's not as... The flavors aren't really as intense or as noticeable as the ones you would find in a fresh can of Pills Miracle. Like when I had it, it wasn't skunky at all. It tasted, the hop character was a lot like this, except for a little stronger. And so was the malt. I know this, the Pills Miracle a little more metallic than this. I don't know, maybe it just sat in the can longer. Well, there's that too, yes. It is a little bit more metallic, but uh, that's really good. I like that a lot. Wow. Once again, Creammore Springs does not in, uh, disappoint. It certainly does not. Wow. I mean, everything I've had is some kind of lager derivative. I don't think they even make an ale. I don't think so. No. But uh, they made an Oktoberfest, but it was only available at the brewery, I think. I think it might have been available like at the Kitchener Waterloo Oktoberfest yeah. on site. But regrettably, we did not make it. Well, yeah. I mean, like we live like two provinces away. We're not making it over there. Canada's a big country. Mm -hmm. Big country dreams stay with you. Got big dreams. Big dreams. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we we're, 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 we're going to sit down with this one for a bit and be right back. And we're back with Three More Springs Pilsner. So, what did I think about this one? I fucking loved it. This was great. Uh, maybe not as strong and as have as much character as you would expect, like from like like Pilsner Urkel had, in my opinion. But it's so darn easily drinkable, and this would replace a lager in anybody's fridge. This is great. I mean, if, if you like beer, you'll like this one. What do you think? It might be just a little too hopsy for your real casual Bud Light drinker. I've been drinking them hoppy beers lately, so. <laughs> I, I don't know. This one probably doesn't have quite the universal appeal that the premium lager does, but it is a really good I, I really, introduction to Pilsner. I really need to try this Cream or Spring uh, <clears throat> lager now. <laughs> it's really fucking good. I have it, but I haven't tried it yet. But this, this, their Urbach, their Keller beer, they were all nice and soft and amazing. And I just, I, I love Cream or Springs right now. Yeah. I adore Cream or Springs right now because this is delicious. They do some good work. Wow. I can see why Molson bought them and then didn't fuck with them. No, why he'd screw up the recipe. You, really, I mean, probably the biggest that claim to fame that Creamore Springs, I mean, their beers are delicious anyway, but the biggest claim to fame they have is the soft water, soft spring water they use in their beers. If Molson was to fuck this up and move it to a, like a regional produced product, like they would have, like, they make it at their, their breweries in like Halifax or St. John's or Moncton or something like that all across the country, it would screw it over. It would really screw it over. The only way they could get around it is if they started boiling the water over to make distilled water to brew the beer with. And that water is just so soft. It's really quite delicious. And that makes an amazing beer, in my opinion. That's really easily drinkable, very refreshing, and thoroughly enjoyable. And a good recipe to boot. To me, that's got it all. This is I'd, a good I'd, pills. I'd have to give that a 4.5 out of 5. What do you think? I, I would give it a four. A four? Yeah. Yeah. But you're not as big a fan as, of the Pilsners as, as I am. Not quite. I, yeah. I I like the dark lagers better, and I love their dark lager, and this is a very, very good Pils, but Pils is not my favorite thing mm. in the world. No, I know. Uh, I mean, typically a Pilsner is a bit more of like a, a real hopsy standard look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a and this is a very, malt, darker. This is a very, uh, very hopsy standard lager. Mm. Uh, so, so yeah, if you I, like your little, like beers with a little bit of extra bitterness, like say, like Keith's India Pale Ale, it, not calling that an absolutely hoppy beer, it's certainly not as hoppy as an India Pale Ale should be, but it's a good like frame of reference. Um, maybe not. No. <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this. I have no idea where that came from. <laughs> All right, four point five out of five for me. Four from you. 
thoroughly recommend it. I'd certainly try this one if you get a chance to, because this was just, this is great. Thumbs Thank way you. up. Thumbs way up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you heard me. I, thumbs way up, and thank you very mu much, Fuzz, for sending me this, and I'm getting uncomfortable. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. Hi, Steel Almighty over here. Hi, Steel Almighty. Hi, Steel Almighty. Hi, Steel Almighty. Hi, Steel Almighty. Kermit the Frog here. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.